at the forum, I get to meet new people. And I think that that's the highlight for me. Uh, I think we all have a lot to learn from each other. Texas GIO, which is Texas Geographic Information Office, formerly known as Tenris, we put the event together, but it isn't our event. It's the state's event. It's the state GIS community's event. This is our 34th year of actually producing this event, and it has turned into something that just had maybe a hundred people attend with just a few little tables out there to a full-fledged event that people from all over the country are choosing to come to. We have people here from Australia this year. We have people here from California, people here from Alaska. People have a finite uh, set of events they can come to and they choose to spend it here with us here in Texas. So that makes me really, really proud that we've had 430 people attend this year. Um, we filled out all our sponsorship events, all our workshops are filled up, and we've had almost 50 sets of presentations. That's the most I think we've ever had. There's a lot of discussion lately around conversations I've been in about emergency response and getting re more accurate aerial imagery or collection imagery of the damage that happened. And so I think that that's something that is really evolving quickly so it's that's something that I'm really kind of interested in and I've been talking to people about is like what are they using what are they finding and the vendors what are they offering and how are they deriving that data we get to think about the future and how to make life easier for us as well as the citizens so the buzzword for this year I think is digital twin I think we really want to see 3D working well and seamlessly. A digital twin is exactly a 3D copy of exactly what you're looking at in real life. So if we were looking at the JJ Pickle Center, as we walk up from outside, uh, it would be a 3D replica of what you're seeing. What goes beyond that and what I think is really uh, great for our industry is going indoors as well. So we can peel off the roof and we can see inside and then that's excellent for our 911 responders uh, to be able to get to the location in a matter of seconds to figure out exactly where you are compared to trying to pull out a blueprint, for example, of a building. I wanted to meet people in the community. It's a, it's a, it's a great event. Um, I wanted to meet some of the agency folks and uh, just meet people like me, you know, and uh, chat up, see what's going on out there and learn a few things. I'm an entrepreneur. I, uh, I, I use imagery and remote sensing to study urban forestry and the oak wilt, specifically the oak wilt uh, fungal disease. And it just opens up a dialogue about imagery and remote sensing, which I love. I'm working with uh, like arborists, you know, and uh, forestry companies. And there's some interest with uh, municipal governments as well, or you know that they, they, maybe they don't have a huge urban forestry budget. They wanna, they still want to find the oak wilt, so they can use me to find it for them. The whole thing is about the the Texas GIS community. The community interacts with our private private sector partners, our public sector partners, um, and to see them actually engaging in that kind of activity without having to try to force it or having them come up with their own solutions just simply by being here um, is really what's exciting, is to see just the buzz that it gets generated. I feel like at the end of this that we're all friends when we leave. <laughs>